on the planet of Krypton, a planet whose fate had been sealed. The planet was doomed, and two brave parents sent off their infant son to Earth. He then grew up in a simple life on a farm, the Kent farm. Of course, this is Clark Kent, who later became Superman. I'm the kid who used to run around, and I begged my mom to get a couple of safety pins in one of her towels. And I'd safety pin that towel to my back so I could run around and fly like Superman. That was me. Still is me. Henry Cavill, or as I like to call him, Superman. The Man of Steel. As an actor, as a person, I really like Henry Cavill. I like his work, his work ethic, the fact that he is through and through real. He stands up for the things that he's creating. And now, coming up, really big news. I'm going to try to go in order here. Of course, we know he's Superman. He's now the Cavalry. Beyond that, he's going to be in a reboot of Highlander. Of course, we know about Warhammer. 40K is an executive producer on that. Whether or not he'll act in it, I'm not quite sure. Of course, a movie like that without Henry. Yeah, dude, please get in front of the camera. Any movie's better with that. And as you know, recently, I also reported on Ungentlemanly Warfare. You should, guys should watch that movie. Henry Cavill, Alan Richson. But then the news of the week is this. Henry Cavill is going to be in a motion picture version of Voltron. Yeah. You know what Voltron is, right? Oh, so you're not from the 80s. Well, for those of you who don't know what Voltron is, Voltron had many different iterations. Voltron is basically, it's, you know, it's this cool Japanese thing where you have, you know, five robots form one big super robot. I have one right here. This right here. This is a Voltron. I'm actually missing one of them. But these were lion bots, okay? Each one of these is a separate ship, if you will. A lion robot ship. And then they all form together into one super robot. Okay, so, yeah, this is Voltron. Original, vintage, 40-something-year-old Voltron toy. Henry Cavill's going to be in a movie version of this. That's right. Henry Cavill and Voltron. Pretty cool, huh? Henry Cavill, I can't say enough about his work. And who he is as a person. I really respect him from what I know. And he's one of my favorite actors. To me, he'll always be Superman. Henry Cavill will always be Superman. Sorry. And again, if they were smart, they would do what they did with Robert Downey Jr. Where they back up a truck full of cash and say, please come back to Marvel. This is what James Gunn should do with Henry Cavill. Back up a truck full of cash to Henry Cavill's house and go, please come back to DC and be Superman. With a, actually, with a good writer and a good director that respects the lore and respects the comic books. We need Henry Cavill back. He is Superman. To me. And he will be. I don't know if you're going to find a good replacement. Not for me. You'd have to really blow my mind. Leave me a comment below. Like it if you like it. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. I'm Loud Boy. This is the Loud Boy Experience. Thank you for being here, guys. I hope you have a good night.